The Palm Beach Atlantic University men's and women's soccer programs welcomed in Chowan University this past weekend for a men's and women's doubleheader. Beginning on Friday, the men squared off at Magic Jack Field amidst cooler conditions as temperatures dipped into the low 70s before kickoff. It wouldn't take the fish long to notch what would be the game winner in the men's game as sophomore Kenny Hogue takes this pass from freshman Michael Emmert for a score just 50 seconds into the match. The goal would be a sign of things to come for the PBA offense as they would tally eight scores in the 90-minute match. Emmert was on the receiving end this time around from fellow freshman A.J. Black as PBA advanced their lead to 2-0 in the 15th minute. After a James Kime score gave PBA a 3 0 lead, junior Charlie Hubbard took this Gustavo da Silva pass right through the Hawks' defense as PBA would go into halftime with a 4 0 lead. Tyler Sanders gets this early second half score started with a long throw in that eventually finds the feet of Black, who makes an easy pass to Hogue, who scores again. Fellow Scotland native Kevin Ireland makes it 6 nothing later in the half with this long strike that puts the match out of reach for good as the Fish cruise to the 8 nothing win over Chowan University. Oak finished with a hat trick on the day as he now has 14 goals on the season while Black tallied a PBA record 5 assists in the win as the Lakeland Florida native continues to make strides under head coach Jose Gomez. We move on to Saturday morning back at Magic Jack Field where the women's soccer team would take on Chowan as well in hopes of a PBA sweep. The team also celebrated Senior Day as the final women's home contest of the season took place. Michelle Kappas, Alyssa DeMonte, and Katie Runyon were all honored in a pregame ceremony thanking the ladies for their contributions to the program. On it was the goal scoring of freshman Mariana Harnes that electrified the crowd as she put the first two goals home for the Fish, including this shake of not one, but two Hawks defenders for the game opening score. Andrea Jefferson was taken down in the box. Kappas would make good on this penalty kick to put the Fish ahead by a 3 nothing count. The goals would be a plenty late in the first half as Jefferson finds junior Ashley Schoff for this soft touch and into the net for a goal. Schoff returned the favor just a minute and a half later when she flicked this pass to the back post to find Carolina Harnes ready to strike. Tara McNabb was the final PBA player to score just before half as this long corner kick came into the box where she neatly placed the ball in for a 6-0 lead. A late header by Kappas capped the score for PBA in the second half as they breezed their way to a 7-0 win and a PBA sweep of the Hawks. Marianne Harnes finished the day with a pair of goals and a pair of assists as she leads the Fish in points this season with 10. Kappas closed out her home career in the blue and white in fine fashion with her first multi-goal game of her four-year career. For anything and everything Sailfish, always check us out on our website at pbasailfish.com. We'll see you next time on Murphy Vision.